Hello and welcome to section 2 in which we will be combining Python's TK and our GUI framework with the Turtle module to build a driving game. First we will combine Turtle and TK Enter. Then we will add scoring to the game. After that we will create obstacles and in the end we will increase the speed of the game. In this first video we will combine TK Enter with Turtle. We will install the Python image library which is called pill, but for Python 3, well, we import pill, but we install what is called the pillow package. So that's what we're gonna do first. Then we'll be using the pill to display PNG files. And after that, we will import the Python's TK Inter GUI framework to, to enhance our game area. And we will be using Python code uh, using object programming classes. So we'll do some OOP. We can use image files with Turtle, but the Turtle graphics module only accepts them in GIF format. And this is very limiting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Python's TK Inter GUI framework. And we need um, PIL, P-I-L, the public, uh, Python image library to do that. So that's what we're gonna install. The command is pip install pillow. I already have it installed. So when I run the code here, the, the installer, it says requirement already has satisfied. But when you run it, it should show you that it downloaded it successful. Shouldn't take very long at all, like maybe 30 seconds or so. Now that we have successfully installed the Python image library package, we can import it. And from PLL, we only need the image and image TK modules. So we only import those two. And we import TK enter and alias it as TK. You see that often uh, in Google searches. So that just abbreviates TK enter to TK, makes our code shorter. So then what we do is we create our own first class. And if you are new to classes, they are not as scary as I might first look. So how this works is there is a double underbar init method. And classes always start with the keyword itself. And this one has a second argument. It expects the win, short for window, to be passed in. And the reason why that is, is because we want to use TK Inter to create a canvas and it needs to know the parent, also sometimes called root. So I call it win, short for window, because it's a, the parent window. So where does this come from? It comes from down here. So this is the class definition. It has two methods, def init and def place car. And underneath it is where the code starts. So here we use TK and create a, we call the constructor of the TK inter class and uh, save the uh, instance in a win variable. And this win is what we pass into our canvas and car. So here this creates an instance of this class. We are passing in the win. And this window will then be passed into the creation of the TK Enter canvas. And at the very end, uh, that's how TK Enter works. We start the Windows main loop. So this one here gets passed in here and also becomes our main loop. So after we created the class, we create a canvas from TK Enter. And then we use the pack manager. So that makes it visible. And we have to call update on the canvas. Uh, because what we want to do is we want to use the wind for width and height methods in order to help us position our car image into the center of our window or our GUI. So we do that, we get uh, the, the car position in the x axis is the wind for width divided by two, and the wind for height uh, divided by two gives us, gives us the center of the window in the y position. I have an image file, um, you'll see it shortly, it's called car.png. And so after we create the class, within the creation of the class, we call place car at the end of the creation of the init method. And in here, we use image open. Image is the one from PIL. So we call open, and we are passing in our self-image file, the car. And we save this. This creates, uh, this opens the PNG file for us and we save it as a name image. And then in the next line, we pass this image into the TK, into the image TK photo image class. And that gives us our car image. And this one now we can pass into the create image of our canvas down here. 
and that will create our window GUI and car image. So let's run it. We can see it says TK here, um, the TK inter window, and we have the car image centered nicely in the center of the window. Next, we import Turtle again, as we've done before, and we use it for drawing our game area. And this time we use it within a class, and we have to do it like this, because what we're doing is we're inheriting from the Turtle module, we're inheriting a raw Turtle class, and our own class is uh, inheriting extending the raw Turtle class. That does, it gives us all the power of the raw Turtle, and a raw Turtle can't stand alone. It needs a canvas. So in the init method, we expect a canvas to be passed in, which we are doing down here. So we're getting the canvas from gkinter, as we've jumped, just done. This guy here, canvas. And we can access the canvas by creating the canvas and car class. So car game is a instance variable. And on from that, we can get to canvas, which is this one here. Self.canvas down here becomes car game canvas. So once we have passed that into our game area class, we call super init. That's the first thing we do. And this initializes our super class, which is our raw turtle. And this one needs a canvas. So we pass in the canvas from tkinter into the game area class in the init method. And immediately we call super on it and call the init method of the super class of raw turtle. And after that, uh, we save the variable as uh, self.tk canvas. And the reason is that we can use it from other methods within the same class. If we wouldn't do that, we might not be able to, to get to it. So we save this reference within our class. Then we hide the turtle. We never see it. We use um, the turtle to get the screen. And this enables us to change the background color to gray. We delay the drawing here with using tracer by two frames. And um, here we call update, but before we call update, we call the dream, dream, draw game area method, this guy here. And this one is what we've done in the section first of this video. Looks probably familiar to you. Uh, one thing maybe new is we, ah, that's not new. Game area start x is a module level global variable and uh, we are calculating where we are setting screen width and screen height here and then we're using this to give it a certain position and here yeah. so this is on top this can be used the module level global variables can be used by both classes another different thing is we don't use um, win for width and win for height anymore because now we are creating the TK inter canvas here, but we are passing this canvas into our new class, which is a raw turtle class. And um, turtle has a different coordinate system than TK inter. So for turtle position 0, 0, which means x equals 0, y equals 0, is in the center of a window, in the center, while for TK inter it's on the left, in the left top corner. So in order to center our car, we now use 0 and 0 as the coordinates. The rest is the same as before. So, well, we, after game area, we call the after turtle game area creation a method. So I call it this because um, if we first create the car and then create the, the turtle screen drawing, then we won't see the car. So the order is important. We first use the turtle code. And once that has been painted, so to speak, then we um, put our car on top of it. So when we run it, uh, we have our car in the center again, yellow car, but in the take here the canvas. But the drawing, the green and the border is um, this turtle drawing. So we have combined take here enter with turtle already. There's one more thing we want to do here, and this is uh, when we create our take here enter canvas, we want to, for the widths and the heights, we want to use our global module level variables. We want to use this between widths because this is one number, and then we use the, the global variable throughout the code. And before we had a different number here and a different number there, and 
that could create some confusion and it's always a good coding practice to have um, only one place with hard-coded values if it's especially if it's the same thing so it doesn't change our window actually it does so we're using 800 by 600 now in this video we combined turtle with tiki inter first we in, uh, installed and then imported the Python image library. Then we created a tkinter GUI using PIL to position the PNG image into it. And after that, we used the turtle drawing program to, to draw the game area we're going to be using. And we placed our PNG car into the center of the turtle uh, game area. 